Barack Obama is more articulate. He's more articulate. He's more graceful. He's younger, so he could, you know, at least you know he'll live a term. But it's some people that cannot fathom a black president. So even though he may meet these criteria, if he was white, it would be a landslide against McCain. It wouldn't be neck and neck. So don't think it's a coincidence at this time that there's a black against a white. Let's read it. Start with the first verse. Matthew 24 and 1. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show the builders of the temple. And Jesus said unto him, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left one here, here one stone upon another. That shall not be thrown down. That shall not be thrown down. So he, he told him, look at these temples. Look at, look at all these great buildings. There will not be one stone left on another. You can best believe these great buildings you're seeing, one day they're going to crumble. One day they will crumble. Everything with a beginning has an ending. Now, if we look at ancient Egypt, it even shows you that. When those pyramids in Egypt were first built, when the sun came off of it, it shined like gold. It looked like gold pyramids. Now look at it. They're hidden un under the sand almost. They had to pick some out of the sand. Everything with the beginning has an ending, man. Read. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came and told him privately, saying, Tell us when these things shall be, and where shall be the sign of thy coming? So the disciples asked Christ, When will you come, Christ? We're waiting on Christ. We're waiting on your Shia. We're not waiting on the Christ they're teaching of in a church. You don't exist. That Christ they're teaching of in, in these Christian churches does not exist. That's Zeus. That's Zeus they're teaching from the pagan, from, from pagan mythology. Okay? We're talking about the Christ, the Israelite, the Jew of the Bible. Right? And what should be the sign of thy coming? Here's the sign. And of the end of the world. And Jesus said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. He said what? Take heed that no man deceive you. The first sign is that we should take heed that no man will deceive us. Men have deceived us. Men we trust called preachers. Constantine, in the fourth century, under the Nicene Creed, started the Roman Catholic Church, or what they call the Universal Church. They came over, conquered all the people, the Bolivar Taino Indians, over in Mexico, even the, the Gallites in the North American Indians here. They gave them smallpox, killed their men who had knowledge, and gave them Christianity. That is men that deceived you. We didn't know who this guy was. We had no idea who this guy was before the Caucasian or the Europeans came over and told us this was Jesus. This guy is not Jesus. His name is Cesar Bongia. They made us worship this wicked and evil man as Jesus Christ. In the fourth century, they integrated pagan beliefs with Christianity. So we do follow Christ, but not the brand of Christianity that was given to our forefathers in slavery. We reject that brand of Christianity. This guy is Sergeant Bojiz. You know that, sister? Did you know that? Somebody get my book out of there, man. Get my book. I'm going to show you, sister. Get my book out of there. It's in there. Check in the green part. Yeah, and that. Open now, the big one. Up at the top. Let's get it. It's in there. You see it? You see it? I ask you, sister, did you know? Here he is right here. Trip type of poisonous. This is the guy that the Roman Catholic Church, the European Church, brought over here to be your new Jesus Christ in 1492. 
trick type of poisons. This was his father, Rodrigo Bogia. His father was, was a Satanist from the Roman Catholic Church. Okay? They put up all these images to deceive the world. I mean, look at this image right here. What is this guy doing? This won't be Jesus. You ever check this one out? Look at it. Come look at it. Come over here and look. Just look at it. Don't be shy. We ain't gonna do nothing to you. What's going on right here? What is this child doing? With, what is this? What's going on there? Can you can you explain what's happening here? What is he doing? What is this? Look, I want you to get this on camera. What is this guy doing right here? Is he following his mother? Look at this. That's going to be Jesus right there. A little diabolical little demon grabbing his mother's breast and, and, and smiling. Look at this. You're going to find out this has nothing to do with Jesus Christ and Mary at all that's written up in the Bible. This links back to Nimrod and Ceramicus, Isis and Horus. Okay? Nimrod. Tammuz. That's the guy they put up to be Jesus Christ. That's why the Lord says, take heed that no man shall deceive you. And then you'll be like, well, okay, we know Christ wasn't white. You'll take down the image, but you'll keep the philosophy that came with the image. In order for you to get the truth, you must tear it all down. The Christianity that was built over here to the Americas was evil. It was the Christianity that had you served, that made your foreparents slaves. That's not the brand of Christianity that our Lord and Savior gave Peter to the disciples. We got a new brand of Christianity and it's called Paganism. Paganism. How do you know you're a pagan? If you worship on Sunday, you're a pagan. Because during crisis time, Christ was worshiping and going on the synagogue, going to the synagogues on Saturday. The pagan Romans was worshiping the sun, S-U-N, on what? Sunday. Pagan, you're a pagan. You are a pagan. How do you know you're a pagan? If you're worshiping on Sundays. And this is how they manipulated you. They had people follow the S-U-N, the sun. Then they took in this Christianity that God is Jesus. Right? So now, you're a prey to the sun. Thinking you're praying to the S-O-N and you're praying to the S-U-N because the pagans and the ancient Egyptians worship the sun. That's why you're worshiping on a Sunday. That's how you know you're a pagan. Christ did not eat abominations. The Greeks did. Another reason, you, another way you know you're a heathen or a pagan, if you eat abominable things that are killing your body, that the Bible says abstain from. You're eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, pork chops. It's a sin. Christ never ate those things. It's a sin. That's pagan. That's good in this thing. But how many people put holy things in their body? They only put what God tells them to put in their body. That's a holy people. Heathens eat anything. They die early because they eat scavengers. Seven day Adventists are close. They're close. They're close. The only thing, the only thing the Seventh-day Adventists have wrong.